cashmere, the whitest of the whites. Here's our color called Coliseum, and this is a grayed white, but still white, still a true white. Manor House, more toward the creamy white. Meadow Sweet is kind of a muted yellow, so it is truly a yellow. So if you want kind of a farmhouse yellow, great color. Uh, Tuscan Wheat is a golden color, just like a Tuscany rich uh, golden goldenrod color. Mm -hmm. uh, Corinthian is a brownish black, very much the color of bronze. So a gorgeous, gorgeous color if you're using like bronze um, or all red bronze in your kitchen and you want to have an island that's that color. Maybe you got like countertops or something. Great color. I love it. Abbey is one of our most popular warm grays. This is a true gray, but it has some warmth to it. So it's not the cold steel gray. Beautiful. Uh, cobblestone is more of the true gray, you know, a black and white combination equally. So it's truly a gray. Stonehenge is a gray that is more toward the taupe side. It looks great with Abbey as it's uh, mate along with Colosseum. A great color combination is Abbey, Stonehenge, and Colosseum. Those three look great together. One of our together. favorites. Yep. Cappuccino is a taupe and here it kind of looks tannish looking, but it's actually kind of, um, it is toward the tan side of a taupe, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, Wedgwood is what I call country blue and y'all might mm -hmm. remember that. It truly is and the Wedgwood describes it perfectly. It is the color that's in true English Wedgwood. That, that is the color. Cathedral is gray, but it has a blue undertone. Just remember that. Antoinette is another blue, but it has a gray uh, warmth to it, so it definitely is not Wedgwood. Wedgwood's bright compared to Antoinette. Polo is our dark, dark navy blue, and it almost looks like black. Uh, so pretty. Yes, it is gorgeous. Uh, French Toile is a, a great kind of a blue, but it has uh, some hotness to it, so it's, it's pretty bright, I think. Uh, Mediterranean is probably our number one fashion color out there, mm -hmm. and it is Mediterranean. It is a true teal blue, sort of toward the blue side, but it has a green, just a tiny bit. So pretty. Yep. Amalfi um, is a fun color. I think more of a beachy color when I see that. It is a true fun turquoise, but it is hot. When you paint something in it, you're going to see it in the room. It is very vivid. Verdigris is a gorgeous, gorgeous color, more towards something you would see it's a French looking color and it's definitely something that you could paint a whole bedroom suit in. Now, again, it's got some, it's got some, uh, it's going to come alive in that room. It's going to be something that you see when you paint stuff. So I would encourage you to try antiquing gel over verdigris. Going to give you a beautiful look and pop the details and tone it down and make a rich color out of it. All of these colors look great with the antiquing gel. Crete is a olive green, just like you think. Crete, olive, drab. It is not so drab. It's pretty olive. So it, again, it benefits from the antiquing gel. Irish Garden is a absolute gorgeous color and it is truly between a blue and a green. It's mm -hmm. soft, it's muted, it looks fabulous on furniture, it looks great on vanities, and it looks great in a bathroom. It looks pretty anywhere you go. Somebody just did a china hutch in it. It's Beautiful. very sedate, it's not a loud one. Mm -hmm. You don't see it when you come in the room, it doesn't scream. Thistle is the color I was just painting here. So here it is kind of in a big piece, you can see. Thistle is purple, but it is a gray shade of purple. Tea rose is exactly as it sounds. It's rose, but it's been tea stained. So it's beautiful, kind of a muted pink. Monarchy is bright red. Regal is a more uh, cranberry red in, in the old fashioned red. Iron Gate is true black. And there you go.